Hello, welcome. So I was just watching some YouTube and I came across a video talking about one of the plants that I have, the succulent. It's an aeonium cream tea and I had originally bought a like medium-sized cluster and it died on me last summer, early last summer. And this person is, uh, is a succulent far not a farmer but she's a seller so she has a nursery does she only exclusively sells succulents in korea and she was talking about the same exact plant and she was coming talking about how she had lost one of hers and she explained how she lost it and it was exactly the same as how i lost mine and that's what brought me here today right now i was literally just sitting chilling on my sofa and i realized okay maybe now is the time for me to uh pot changed my pot for the Aeonium cream tea. Now, before I do that, I actually need one of the pots that my current succulent is sitting on, <laughs> which is because I want to move it into here. This is, and I've featured this, I think, uh, quite a lot in the last, you know, couple of videos, or maybe it was shorts. Um, this is my Echeveria Suryan. I actually thought that it was called Suryan, and I realized that it's actually called Suryan. So um, anyway, so this, I bought it in a nursery pot and over the last year or so, it grew tremendously. Now, as you can see, it outgrew this pot. And this is one of those succulents where I told myself, okay, I'm going to let this one grow. This will be my one and only succulent that I'm going to really try to grow into a really big size. Now, I have limited space and that's really the reason why I don't want my succulents growing really big. I don't want them growing too big, so I um, do keep them in smaller pots. Now, in this this one, it was growing so well, and as you can see, it's also flowering right now. And I wanted to keep it keep it in this form uh, as long as I could. But I um, now I'm just having second thoughts because I really don't want to kill my cream tea, and I really need this pot right now. And this one I clearly outgrew the pot. And this one, in the last year, I had moved up pot sizes already two times so this will be yet another time that i'll be moving into a bigger pot now i don't know well i don't really have a bigger size than this right now i do believe this is five inches or six inches where is my my ruler okay now the succulent itself is almost end to end i think it's about seven inches so and this pot, I believe, is five inches or six inches. I'm not even really sure. And so I really don't have a next size up. And the next size up, the closest thing, um, is this one on the left, at least in the clay pot. I do have porcelain pots, but I don't want to put it in another porcelain pot. Um, I want to put it, put it in this clay pot. And this clay pot is eight and a half inches. Uh, hopefully it'll be fine. As I said, this is the one second that I want to really grow, let it grow into a giant form. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to grow into a giant format, but I, th I think it's fine. I think, uh, I think it's, a, it's a good size. Now, where am I going to put this or where am I going to keep this? That's a different question. So, so we'll see. I think I need to... It is fairly deep, this clay pot. Let's see. It's almost six inches tall, but it does have this like pedestal it's on a pedestal so technically I think oops, sorry technically it's about five inches tall deep so let's see how we can do this I'm gonna prep this pot I'm gonna put a lot of these, I don't know what these are, clay balls? I have no idea. But um, yeah, I'm gonna fill it up almost the whole bag because I really don't need, it's, you know, it's fairly deep. So I think I could afford to, I would just put the whole bag in there. Set that aside. Now I can't remember the when was the last time I watered this, but it's fairly dry. 
So hopefully it'll come out fairly easily. some of the roots off which I guess was expected to a certain degree uh, I think a lot of the roots probably got ripped off so I'm not gonna do a lot of like root cleaning I don't want yeah I don't want this to get damaged so just gonna try to dust off the old and to be fair I, I have to I should have looked at when was the last time I potted this but it hasn't been that long so I think I'm just going to kind of move it in with minimal. Okay. And I think, let's check the pot. And I think the, there's a lot of roots on the stuff on the side. Um, I could probably reuse some of the soil as well. It's not that old. It's not even six months old. I'm just picking out some of the roots, the ripped off roots. So I had good, good growth in here, obviously. These are all roots that are stuck on the side of the pot. All these roots. This pot is so big, it's gonna take a massive amount of soil. <laughs> Sounds like I'm going to break the desk <laughs> trying to pot this thing. <laughs> now that I have it potted in here, I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> Only because I've been such a big believer of keeping my succulents in small pots because I don't want them growing so huge. Only because of limited space. And here I am potting this Echeveria Surian, Surian in this eight and a half inch clay pot. Is it crazy or what? The gravel, I just washed it and it's not 100% dry yet. Can't help but feel it's a little bit off-centered. Okay guys, tell me what you think. <laughs>